How you guys doing today? Mark Franks from PlentyOfGadgets.com. Guys, today I want to show you how to connect two monitors to your Mac Mini M1 using the USB adapter and the port, the HDMI port on the back of your Mac Mini. So guys, I'm going to go over the, the hardware components and then I'm, I'm going to show you how to configure the software. So uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so let's go, let's go over what's on the back of the Mac Mini. So we have the power button here, we have the power cord port, we have the 5 gigabit Ethernet slot, we have two Thunderbolt ports, we have the HDMI port, we have the USB-A port, two USB-A ports, we have the fan underneath, and we have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now what I'm going to be using today is the USB-C adapter here, it's Solari, so we'll use this adapter to go ahead and connect to dual monitors. Now it's a little bit different uh, with a Mac Mini because with, a, with the Mac Mini is you can't put two HDMI cores in both of these slots. You can only put it in one slot. So it'll go like this here. This USB-C adapter will hook into your, your Thunderbolt port in the back here. So this adapter here will hook into one of the Thunderbolt ports because it's USB-C compatible with 24 pins. You go ahead and plug it in like that. And then this end right here, you just plug in one of the monitors this HDMI cord is hooked to one of my monitors in the back. You'll plug this into one of the HDMI ports. Here. Where are you going? All right, so I have it plugged into one of the HDMI ports, if you can see that, because I have the Solori, um, the, uh, Solori adapter. Now, usually with a Mac, you will have just a USB-C to one HDMI port. You can get that. That's on. I'll put that in the description below. But I have two ports because this used to be hooked up to my PC. All right? So this is how you do it for one of your monitors. Now, the other monitor, the, U the HDMI cord from your other monitor is going to go into the HDMI slot here. All right. So it'll look like this. So you have your USB-C adapter and you have one HDMI cord hooked up to your USB-C adapter and your other HDMI cord, which is hooked up to your other monitor, is going to go into the HDMI cord, I mean, HDMI port that's in the back of your Mac Mini. So this is how it's supposed to look for, as far as from a hardware perspective. Now let, let's go ahead and transition to the, uh, to the next video. I'll show you how to set it up uh, from a software perspective. All right guys, so after you have all your cables hooked up and you turn your Mac Mini on, your monitor should, should look something like this, where, whereas the main monitor in my situation is on the left, I have the bar at the bottom, and the extended monitor is on the right. And let's take a look here. If I pull up a window, I pull up Google Chrome, then it can go back and forth. So it is extended. And I can pull up different applications. I can pull up another application, and I'll have one application on this side and one application on that side. So that works in that situation. This is extended monitor. Now, now, if you want to change the arrangements of this monitor, whereas you want to put your monitors vertical and want to change the arrangement, we can do that by going to system preferences and changing the display. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Now, also, if your monitors happen to be duplicate, we can do the same thing in system arrangement, change that duplicate monitor to an extended monitor. Let's go ahead and see how to make it happen. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the, the uh, Apple the top left and then we'll go to system preferences and then system preferences. We'll go down to displays. Now, basically, this is showing us what the uh, monitors are. This is a scepter F22. This is number two. Number one is going to be on the right here. So it pulls it up on both monitors. All right. And then it, it, you look at the. It tells you about the rotation right now is in standard and the refresh rate. This uh, particular monitor, the refresh rate, it, the refresh rate goes up to 75 hertz. So I have that set to the highest. Uh, now, for the, what we do is we'll hit the arrangement. Now, this is basically telling you where your monitors are positioned. So my monitor, my main monitor with the bars is on the left and the extended monitor is on the right. So I want to put this vertical. I can move this around and make this monitor vertical or I can make it kind of diagonal, basically where you want your mouse cursor to be positioned where you and where you want your monitors to go. 
So right now I'm gonna keep it right here. And you can also change this bar, the main bar, you can put it on this monitor and it'll change that, that bar at the bottom. It'll change this bar at the bottom here and it'll change it to that monitor to the right. So you can do that as well. So now if you happen to have duplicate monitors, this mirror displays will be checked. So if I check it right now, then both, that means both of my monitors are duplicate. All right. They're the same thing on both monitors. All right. To that's to have you, if you happen to have that on your screen to get rid of that, all you do is, is, uh, you'll uncheck where it says mirror displays and then your screen shall automatically be extended again. All right. So it's pretty simple guys. That is essentially how you, uh, how you connect two monitors to your Mac mini M one.